What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new season of Laura McCoy Live, featuring on myself, Laura McCoy, the man of the hour, the man with the dowel, recording live from lovely Patmos. The sky is beautiful, except for these chemtrails. So with that, we need to start a petition to get that out the way. But uh, if you guys were wondering what happened to me, I'm sorry. I was out of it for a while. I, I, you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes too, and I made a mistake. I messed up. I messed up. Yeah, you know what happens. I'm not perfect. I messed up, and I was dealing with the consequences. I made it on my own. I manifested it, and I got what I wanted, and then now I'm coming back on because this it's a cycle. It's a cycle of life, and I, I've been going through it for as long as I can remember my whole life. That I. There's good and there's bad. So I do good, I do really good. And I like, it's, you don't want to over, you know, overexert yourself. I'll, I'll do, I'll start eating. I was like, what? I'm not eating meat, wheat, dairy, nothing. And I'll do it. I'll do it good. I'll do it good for like seven to 10 days. And then after that, I'll be like, yo, I just want to get like a slice or something. I want to get a halal play with some shawarma, lahma, the jaja, everything. Oh, and then I start eating all crazy meat and then cheese. And the next day, bam, bam, bam. Or I'll slowly, oh, you know what? I'm not eating meat, wheat, or dairy. I'll just eat some wheat. So I, I you know, I'll just have some bread or I'll just have some, some cheese, you know. And then it slowly, then bam, bam, bam. Then, you know, seven to ten days later after that, the initial seven to ten days, I'm all back into it again. So I, so I do good. I do really, really good and really, really bad. Because, like, the higher you go, the faster you go, you're going to come down. And so I have to just do good and stay good. Like, don't you find something and you know, yeah, you want to do good. Don't overexert yourself because you're going to burn out yourself like that. And I always hear it and I never like, yeah, whatever doesn't happen, it happens. And that's what happened to me. I had it so good that I thought that nothing could go wrong. And the instant that I did that, I you know I messed myself up. And that's life. I was doing too good to the point where I got to my head. And I'm like, oh, I got it so lovely. I got everything the way I want it. I could do whatever I want. And then just like that. You see how quick that was? Just like that. Boom. Gone. And I was messed up. And, you know, I was happy. I was thanking things for everything. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Just thanking, you know, the creator of everything, you know. Because a lot of it, like, I, I don't know. I'm not a, what did you say, religious person. I don't, I don't say, like, oh, you know, like, yeah, we'll do this. God willing, God willing this. Like, you know, it is, yes, God created us. But we have free will. So I don't put anything. We're the creators. And this in the physical, we manifest things. We create things. So that's how I... We do it. I put it on me. So, yes, thank you for creating all this, this the world. Thank you for creating me and everything around me and all the stuff that I have to enjoy. This food and these people and everything. The scenery. Like, lovely, like, beautiful things, you know? Thank you for that. So, I was, yeah. But then, once I got down, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't even buy thanking anyone. I'll just eat. Like, what, what's the point of me? Like, I'm so bad right now. Is my thanks even going to be enough? Because I was so low and in such a negative state. Lower order emotions dwelling there for a while. But then... Slowly but surely, I worked my out of it. Now, boom, I just got my letter. I just want to hold it like, ching, but I sent it in already. I got accepted to the RM program. So, doing good. My pharmacology class that I was uh, 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 struggling to keep my head above water. It's all coming. I got my final. Next week, I could write down on a piece of paper. Oh, this is not the piece of paper. I could write down everything on a piece of paper I need to know about diabetes, all the different drugs, all the insulins, type 1, type 2, oral hypoglycemics, mechanism action, adverse effects, all that. I got it down pat. So everything is really looking good for me right now. So now I'm feeling good. But I don't want to, boom, go too high because then I know I'm a crap. So I just need to find that good and just balance out right there. And it's the cycle of life. If you go too high, the, the, the faster and higher you go, the quicker you're going to drop as well, the lower you're going to go. So we have to overcome that rhythm. It's one of the seven universal principles in the Kibbalan. All, all the, like, higher teachings of the world. It's that rhythm that you go with this and you go with that. You have to overcome that and find where you want to be. Stay right there. Stay right there. Just do, just do it little by little, step by step, day by day. You know, don't over, over exert yourself because you're gonna blow out yourself emotionally, physically, mentally, all those ways. I, I, I was so high, and when I crashed, I didn't have, I didn't have it. I didn't want to do a little more quick to spew my negativity out into you, even if I wanted to. I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but, and that's another thing. It's a little side note. I'm gonna probably end this in a minute. Like those healers, that's just really true. Like in people healing you, or it's psychic, whatever you want to call it, that there's truth in that. Those healer people that can heal you, but if they're not correct within themselves all the way and they work on someone else, their badness from them is going to go into you. So you can actually get worse repercussions from that. Then you know, so you have to be very careful. That you have to make sure if you're ever like getting like spiritual work or anything like kind of healing like that, kind of like shamanism, you have to make sure that those people are pure 100% all the way because of any little bit of negativity that will send that into you. And that's what'll happen. So yeah, step by step, work to get yourself here, and then you want to go a little higher. You go a little higher, and then you know, then you're at the top, and you're steady. There's consistency. That's what I have to work on. Consistency, and that's key. Consistency is key. And I love y'all. Be easy, my easies. 
Masalama, I'll see you later. Oh, McCoy. Deuces. Not the horns, deuces.